Besides pictures, the base content of our entire yearbook is quotes from students intermixed into captions and, and short stories. We want to make sure that those quotes are meaningful because that's what people care about, right? They aren't looking to read the story to read your beautiful information. No, they're looking for the quotes from the students and they are what the base of our content of writing is. So when you're interviewing people, you should be listening for good quotes, listening for quotes that no one else could be saying. In addition, when you're reviewing interviews and you're searching for a good quote to select, you should be doing the same thing. You should be finding three star to five star rated quotes so you can use them and make sure that we have good content in our yearbook. We're going to look at some quotes and rate them together and talk about why they get better and better as they move on. So here's a yearbook quote guide selection guide. We're going to look at each one and talk about why it is rated the way it is. The first quote is, homecoming week was great and it was awesome seeing everyone so spirited. This is a bad quote. Why? Anyone could have said it. It's pretty generic. Essentially, if you're interviewing with somebody about homecoming week, they probably care about it and probably saw that people were spirited. And that's just not super great. Okay. It's generic. It gives no information to the reader about the why. It's very de little detail and really anyone could have said it. The second one, homecoming week was really fun and decorating for the week was really great. This is a little bit more detailed. We know this person went and decorated for the week, right? They put stuff up in the hallways. They did things. It describes a little bit more of the information for the story, but only the student who decorated could have said this, right? Still very little detail though. What did they decorate? What did they do? Why was it really fun? Those are the things we're looking for. The next quote up says, decorating the hallways for homecoming week was my favorite part. It's a pretty good quote, it's probably our lowest level quote we wanna have, but instead of just telling me what they did, I wanna know why. I wanna know why it was their favorite part. Why was it their favorite part? Only that person could have said that. So as we move forward to the four star, you can see decorating the hallways for homecoming week is my favorite part because we made the entrance to our hallway so cool. This is a great one, especially if it's paired with a photo of that student at the entrance of their hallway decorating. Great opportunity. And it's very detailed that only this person could have said it. But getting even more detailed to talk about why and how we wouldn't know this information without this quote would be, I really enjoyed decorating our hallway because it came up with the idea to make our hallway entrance look like you were walking into the dragon's lair. That's a quote only this person could have said. This is the kind of quote we're looking for. So how do you get from a quote a level of one to five? You ask why, you ask how, you ask for details. Can we pair pieces together? Yes, but when you're listening to an interview or you're doing an interview, you need to be listening for details that only that person can tell you.